Well, this is very interesting news uh, that Israel is now saying that U.S. intelligence warned them in November about a potentially catastrophic pandemic in Wuhan, China. And apparently other U.S. allies were also warned in November. This confirms what ABC News reported earlier this week. And, of course, the Trump administration denied it. And you're not supposed to believe anything until it's been denied uh, maybe twice or three times. So we'll have to wait for a couple more denials before we could be sure that this is true. But uh, assuming it is, and we've got these different sources now uh, telling us that this is true, uh, this is quite mind-blowing because China did not become aware of this problem until December 31st. So if U.S. intelligence knew that there was a potentially catastrophic pandemic developing in Wuhan, China in November, it means U.S. intelligence knows what's happening in Wuhan, China better than the Chinese do. And the only reason that that would be the case would be if the U.S. had planted the virus there. Now, that sounds like an outrageous hypothesis, but it's really not. If we understand how geopolitics operates, how covert operations uh, take place, and if we understand the uh, complete lack of normal morality and ethics among people who are in charge of foreign policies, we understand why it is far more probable than not that U.S. intelligence was indeed behind this. Although, given what you know, the Israelis pointing the fingers at the Americans, maybe the Israelis were involved too and want to offload some of the blame. Who knows? Uh, certainly the attack on Iran would implicate the Israelis. In any case, uh, the U.S. desperately needs to stop the rise of China to number one world power status. To do that, it has to slow down Chinese economic growth considerably, which has been double digit for almost 40 years. The only way to do that would be to torpedo the entire global economy and find a way to try to break the global supply chains so that the economy would become less globalized and people, or countries, individual countries would be uh, looking elsewhere uh, rather than to China for their goods, uh, to get infrastructure through such projects as Belt and Road and so on. If the history continues on the trajectory that it was on before the coronavirus, the Chinese are going to rule the world within a decade or two. There's no question about that. And that is absolutely unacceptable to the American decision makers. They had to find some way to bust up the globalized economy and in particular to try to strike at China. This appears to be what they've done. Now they're saying they're, they're going to steal China's investments in U.S. Treasuries to the tune of trillions and trillions of dollars as supposed uh, compensation for the virus. So the U.S. Uh, propaganda push among the extreme anti-China crowd here in the United States to blame China, the push to use this as an excuse to destroy China's e economic leverage by stealing uh, the Chinese investment in U.S. Treasuries, and the attempt to deglobalize the world, all of this points straight at the usual suspects, the same people who did 9-11 in order to launch their war on the Islamic civilization as the beginning of the clash of civilizations, now realize that the civilization that is the most threatening to their continued hegemony in the world is Chinese civilization. This is the first strike of World War III as the U.S. is preemptively striking China, not so much with the virus itself, but with the massive publicity and the effect that the historical effect that will happen uh, due to this virus as they can smear China, as they can try to convince other countries to stop trading so much with China, and as they attempt to deglobalize the world economy so that they can freeze the world the way it is where the U.S. still has the vast preponderance of military power.